Hi, this is Mrs. Camp. I'm trying to videotape this so you know what to do with this homework. Um, cruising into second grade, day one homework. And this is the math sheet, front and back. This seemed to be really easy for them, and I'm glad. Um, just make sure that they know to write the number in. This would be three tens and two ones. The number would be 32. Down here... Um, is when you draw base 10 blocks. So the number is 53, so you would have five <clears throat> 10 sticks and three ones. Here, four 10s and one one. So it would be four 10s and one one. Okay, that seems to be pretty easy for them. It was a couple of the parents were wanting to know how to do this one with the sentence. And I'll just read it and go over number one. Joshua reads three books on Monday. On Tuesday, he reads more books. By Wednesday, Joshua had read nine books. How many books did Joshua read on Tuesday? So here's the book on Tuesday. So we go back. Joshua read three books on Monday. Three. He read three books. On Tuesday, he read more books. How many more? It just says more. So that's our own unknown number. Plus unknown number is a question mark. Then by Wednesday, Joshua had read nine books. Equals nine books. How many books, and I always have them underline it, how many books did Joshua read on Tuesday? So we're trying to find the unknown Tuesday number because it just said he read more. This is the equation, and then you answer the question. How many books did Joshua read on Tuesday? Joshua read blank books on Tuesday, period. That's a sentence. So now we just have to find the unknown number, and that's the sentence I want, always want them to write. You know, they... The question, and then you write the the answer with the blank. So let's work this out. If this is 3, plus what number would get to 9? Well, you can count up if you don't know. It's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many dots do I have? 6. So I'd put 6 somewhere around here. 6. And he read 6 books on Tuesday. That's how you do these word problems. Okay? I hope that helps. If you have any questions, always just remember to underline the question and answer it. How many more cookies does Anna have than Max? Anna has blank more than Max. And that's how you do the sentence, and the equation goes up here. Hope that helps. Uh, text me if you have any questions. Have a good night.